Rock County is already one of the state's biggest soybean producers, but a multi-million dollar project being proposed in Evansville could boost those numbers and the local economy. Our Catherine Merck heard from city and a heard from the city and a farmer himself about what this will mean for the county, the city, and the state's crop. To the south is going to be the plant. On this plot of land in Evansville. South of that will be a big loop for the train to come in. Doug Rebout says a potential development will be able to match the city's growth, both financially and in the fields. Rock County is the highest producing uh, county for soybeans in the state. We grow about 6 million bushel here in Rock County a year. A soybean plant from CHS, a Minnesota-based company. And this is another rendering that they provided. Is in early talks of bringing a massive facility to the small city. I hope that'll bring lots of uh, construction jobs and um, kind of other industries uh, around it. The city administrator tells me that $700 million are being invested into this plant, one of the biggest projects the city's ever had. We're all very excited to see this come along that fits within the scope of what uh, we'd envision for economic development in Evansville. There's still more that needs to be finalized before they can break ground. Their plan at this point that we understand it is spring of next year. There's hoping to have all of the plans and, and specifications uh, ready to present to the board of directors uh, with the with CHS, with the company. County Road M is right over here. As Doug shows me We're around not... the future site, he tells me there's only more growth ahead. It shows that we are doing the right things here in uh, Wisconsin. I'm proud to be a part of this. Reporting in Evansville, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. The city administrator says the project is expected to break ground in the spring of 2024 and would open up in the fall of 2026.